So the heart shaman versus the warrior shaman. The heart shaman knows that it is more advanced, more expanded, shall we say, more evolved than the warrior shaman stance. Just like if I ask you in the Western tradition, who's more powerful, Solomon or Jesus or Jeshua ben David? Obviously, Jesus is more powerful because he is the heart shaman. Solomon is the wizard, the wisdom, the intellectual shaman. So the heart shaman beats the body shaman and it beats the mental shaman because it is the unified field theory shaman. Many ways to say it. Often in native traditions, you'd have the kiva, the circle, the ceremonial dancing, the secret with its with the Hopi or whoever, the Apaches, or even I would suggest the Incas, etc. Everywhere. First, there has to be courage. So the warriors think it's battle, physical battle, not being afraid, being willing to face things. And you may spend a hundred lifetimes doing that, where you learn not to be afraid, to face what needs to be faced and dealt with. In the sacred secret circles, often it takes years or decades or it never happens for those initiates. They, they think it is the strong man, the strong leader up front that is the true shaman. Often ten years later or so, they realize that the quiet, perhaps the man that is bringing in the firewood, perhaps the man bringing in the piedra, caliente, the apuchais, the little stones from the apus in Peru, the jokester, you can only know the heart shaman if you yourself have heart. And often the real teacher is not the bombastic out front teacher. So often even in the circles they don't know yet who the real shaman is. The heart shaman, the evolution is first to war, you know, you're a warrior. And that has its place. Then the next step from the warrior is into the heart. Jesus has no problem. He's no wimp. Jesus is no wimp. If you took him on in physical battle, you'd get your ass kicked. He just doesn't do it that way. So whether it's Taoism or true mystical Christianity or shamanism, the evolution is towards the unified field of the heart. That's the cross. If you do a cross, you stretch yourself on a cr across a cross, this is the vertical, this is the horizontal, and in the crux, in the fulcrum, in the center, in the Christos, in the crossing of that is the heart center. So the evolution is the heart shaman is the ultimate shaman. And it will appear, the Christ spirit will appear however it needs to appear. In Palestine it would appear as Jeshua ben David. And that same spirit, might have been actually him, I think it's actually him, appears as Quetzalcoatl down in Tepotzla in Mexico or in that valley uh, south of Tepotzla. Now, how would you represent the, the enlightened, awakened Christ spirit to shamans? Of course that would be a feathered serpent. Of course that would be the ascension, the flying, the perspective abilities with the feathers and the serpent kundalini. Of course, makes total sense. If he appeared as a Jewish rabbi to the shamans of South America, it wouldn't make any sense. Heart also becomes, at that point, we start becoming formless. We take any form that is appropriate for whoever we're working with. We become truly spiritual chameleons, just like God, source, mother, father, son, daughter, father of manifestation, whatever it is, whatever form we take, 
The source is all forms, a thousand faces, myriads of expressions. The heart shaman is more expanded, farther along than the warrior shaman. And of course, the ultimate shamans are these guys.